I walk on the wild side. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> <laughs> Defoe, and you're watching Animal Logic. That iconic <laughs> hyena laugh isn't a laugh, but rather a sign of frustration. Often heard when in conflict with another hyena. If you hear a hyena do this, it's no laughing matter. Next to humans, hyenas are one of the most fatally aggressive animals on the face of the earth. They are highly efficient and deadly pack animals with incredibly strong jaws that can exert a thousand pounds or 453 kilos of force, which they use to crack open bones and access their delicious nutrients. Despite what you may have heard, they are primarily hunters, not scavengers, with 95% of their diet made up of their kills. A pack of them hunting together can reduce the carcass of a wildebeest into scrap in minutes. That being said, they do feed on carrion, and they have a digestive system that is able to digest rotted meat with ease. They are also able to extract nutrients from even the oldest of bones. They've even been documented storing scraps in the floodwaters to preserve them for days without kills. However, hyenas haven't always been the bone-crushing masters they are today. Protictotherium, an extinct genus of hyena that appeared 15 million years ago, resembled weasels with short legs and long, skinny bodies. To top it all off, they were primarily omnivores, who ate small insects and plants. Hyenas have since tried to fit into several evolutionary niches. During the late Miocene period, hyenas hit their prime with at least 24 species roaming Eurasia and Africa. But these descendants of Protictotherium were primarily small, nimble, dog-like creatures, not bone crushers. One species of hyena actually crossed the Bering Strait into North America and made it as far south as Mexico. Chasmoporthetes ossifragus couldn't compete with similar canids that were monopolizing North America, so they attempted to fill the niche of cheetah-like sprinter, chasing down and killing its prey at high speeds. As canids arrived in Africa and Eurasia, and started to take over the market towards the end of the late Miocene period, dog-like hyenas were crushed, and instead, their more specialized relatives, the bone-crushing hyenas, took over. There were many different types of bone-crushing hyenas, but the coolest was the Pachycrocuta, or giant hyena, which weighed an estimated 110 kilos, or 240 pounds, more than double the weight of today's largest hyena, the spotted hyena. They were reportedly able to break open elephant bones. Today, there are four surviving types of hyenas. The spotted hyena, the largest and most popular, the brown hyena, the rarest, the striped hyena, and the aardwolf. The aardwolf is particularly interesting because it's the only remaining dog-like hyena, and unlike its brethren, it's an insectivore and mostly eats termites. Today, hyenas have one of the most complex social systems of any living creature, and that social system puts females on top. Each hyena has a rank, which is identifiable by their scent, the reason for the typical leg lift greet in hyena society, and the matriarch is the top knot dog. The higher the rank, the more food they're entitled to, and the less bullying they have to put up with. At the very bottom of the chain is the males. Even the alpha male is lower than the lowest female. Males will often leave their clan to seek out a female in another, as immigrant males rank higher than resident males. They don't promote from within. Even crazier, hyenas have inheritance. The matriarch's daughter will inherit the matriarch's position, and the daughter becomes the second highest ranking hyena in the clan until she becomes the matriarch. The males have to show complete submission to the females, often putting up with intense interrogation where the female will attack them and the males will just take it, just to prove that they're going to be submissive in the clan. Even more interesting is that hyenas are unique in the sense that they are a species with almost zero male-to-female forced sex, which for most animals is very common. According to a study in the journal Nature, Alpha female hyenas will give a boost of hormones to their young, specifically androgen, which makes their young more aggressive, but it also causes the female reproductive organs to grow significantly. 
Her clitoris, which, strangely enough, contains the birthing canal, sticks out seven inches from her body. This makes sex very difficult, even when the female wants to have sex, and it makes the male forcing himself upon a female almost impossible. The co-author of the study, Kay Holkamp at Michigan State University, said in regards to females who do get pregnant, imagine giving birth through a penis. Now, what animals should I check out next? Please let me know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every single week. Thanks for watching!